Hey my Safi Ram from our nerves, welcome to the next part of my Deus Ex Human Vision Let's Play. So in the previous part, um, me and Malik on our flight back to Hangshai got ambushed. And luckily we took out our marriage to save Malik. So I'm now going to enter the Hangshai and carry on with my mission. Yes, I do want to leave. Malik is safe. I have got a nice bottle glass of Merlo next to me. Shit. Oh. Ow! Oh. 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 Everyone who was augmented has been getting strange symptoms. I I can't speak to you right now. Something is wrong. <laughs> Belta. The Lim Clinic. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Now, if you've been paying attention to the storyline, you've been paying attention to the entire medical go on and on and on, on about bio chips they've been given, but the design was, and who gave it to him. So, with that in mind, I don't think anyone with the right mind would actually go to a Lumicat and get a biochip modification. Personally. confirmed that the cause of these disruptions has been linked to a major malfunction in the multi-channel biochip, a device which transmits neural impulses directly to inorganic tissue. She is urging people to visit their local limb clinic Actually, I can't hear this actually saying oh, the noise of those protesters. I want to go to Lim because I want to see if I get some more practice kits because I might as well get as many as I can. One moment. Uh, you are not a harvester. We have had the occasional problem with them stealing from Lim clinics. 
Sir, sir, could I borrow a minute of your time? You may. I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see that. What I really meant to ask is, how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, please, you misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss, as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Go on then. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, Understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. I understand, Doc. You can count on my discretion. I appreciate it, Mr. Jensen. Obviously, you are familiar with Bell Tower and the role they have in this city. What you may not be familiar with, however, is the fact that sometimes they contract limb doctors like myself to work in private clinics on special projects. What kind of special projects? What you Americans call black operations. Bell Tower selects some of their best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental top secret hardware. Not to sound too jaded, Doc, but none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your government and mine have both been guilty of this practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation, a private army, on sale to the highest bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower, then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. No, no. It is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware, and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations for the Chinese and others. Sounds like the type of man you don't want to see going out of control. Precisely. Yet, about a month ago, I have heard rumors that Mr. Zelazny and part of his unit had gone rogue. And two weeks later, a city official was killed in a perfectly staged operation. I am certain it was them. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me himself. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. I'll do what I can. I am sure you are up to the task. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. And if things do turn sour and he must be terminated, I think you are quite a good candidate to get it done. Or at least survive. Size the axe, then they get my chip replaced. You hear for recall? There is problem with the peripheral nerve interface. We fixed with upgraded chip. You want it, yes? I'll think about it. Clinic is very busy, but if you want something else, we will service you. I think I'll have a couple of practice kits. You're very welcome. 
cancer. Ah, that's fantastic. Okay, five praxis points. So, what shall I spend them on? Not that much for Raven, to be fair, anyway. Hmm, I'm at the stage now, I'm not sure what I want to upgrade. Good on up the typhoon. Do not want to leave, I'm not going to do anything to it later. Put my rebreather, that's all I need. Right, we'll deal with this mercenary guy. I'll see in the other districts. Tianga,那麼多人。你是不是就那麼多?你覺得他們同心能給幾個人做手術呢?有點耐心。我們一定能進去的。你說的到輕鬆了。如果我的生物片完全停止工作了,那我怎麼辦?啊?我到時候我就
but we can use this to get to the other districts. Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Fair enough. Some Doesn't appear. Ah, there it is. Unmarked location. City Wayson to the Fabula Tauhe Gungao. Did you limp to Solama? Oh dear, you lot found, did you? That's a metro station. Got to find the entrance to the sewers somehow. Thank you. 
the water would shed. There is no other way out there, not that's drawn away I should have. Yeah, no, there is no other way out, okay. This round is somewhere. Okay. No way to the sewers down here. Hold it cool. Guys, the sewer entrance. I'll be way around to the sewer from somewhere. Oh That's the way out. Go find that crap, man. It's indentured slavery. You Daryl pays for your augments, and you spend the rest of your life working on his pet project and pay him back. The first installation. For this whole global cooling thing to work, Daryl has to build a dozen more in oceans all over the place. Did you read the fine print? There we are, sewer entrance. That's a harvester.
don't think this is what I want to come down. Come on, shit, come on, come on, come on. I've got no... I've got no food, but... Oh, yeah, there's one. Yes. Thing he's not down here, you know. I'm not going to turn both down, am I? I can't move this way. Get him! That was not a mistake. Come on, put your head up, just for me. Right, sorry guys, I got bored of waiting. Right. That's all plus this over. Is this the way? So it's where they're hiding in. No, it's not. Damn it. I thought I'd found it in. The only thing is I've found them before. Something on this map. That is definitely. This is where I am now. That is definitely the sewer open. They must be in here somewhere, whether this is. Yeah, because that's this bit here. Yeah, the map's bugged. Definitely. 100%. Because that's this bit, isn't it? 
So you guys realize you can't actually see my mouse cursor. This map's bugged. Okay. Well, I want to look around this lower sort of bomb bit here. Everything you want, right here. Expensive. Yeah, no, I'm not prepared to pay that much for that. Good plenty of that. Yeah, I will be right here. the hell where the hell they hold up okay let's try one if I nothing doesn't tell me where they are Anything. Okay, what does that sort of say? Safe spot on the sewers. Shit, I just watched her from the security guard. That was a mistake. District. Where is that underground layer? Fuck's sake. Perhaps it's this side. I vaguely remember when I did it before. It's the other side. Imagine Versa Life's got to have an opinion on things. Think they'll give up all that money they get on neuropazine sales? Nuh-uh. They can't have that much influence, not if the whole UN decides to pass restrictions. Biotech companies have got to be scrambling. TYM, Isolate, 
They all stand to lose millions. Zhao Yunru didn't seem concerned in that TV interview she gave. She almost seemed to be welcoming the restrictions. Yeah, probably because she's made some backroom deal. That's how these corporations work, you know? You don't know how right you are. Shit. You shouldn't be here, sir. Get moving. Bell Tower is an English outfit, and that's how I want the scum down here to see it. We gotta let them know who's running this place. Yeah, Wong. We don't want these street rats coming out to talk to us whenever they want. Besides, I gotta speak enough Mandarin every time I go to the restaurant. I don't want to do it at my job, too. Oh, if you got a problem with that, call HQ in London, Wong. Last piece of work. Sorry, she's saying recharge. Just down here. Be the one. Yes. What up, guys? They send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Yeah, it seems no matter how many of their friends I send back in body bags, they just don't get the message. For the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips. Let them be trapped in their pride. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so... evocative. Now... Tell me... Are you here to stop me? Not exactly. I'm here on behalf of someone who wants you to understand reason. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man, and I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right, but he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Yeah, okay, I can relate. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the US, when I first got into the army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then, I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. 
But you don't work for the U.S. anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The U.S. military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Why don't we just skip to when things went sour? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. It gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later, seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the U.S. government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't outfit the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts. Remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government. And was asked to do highly questionable things. Even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Dr. Wing said our situations would resonate. I don't think he realized it might go both ways. Some men deserve the justice we bring on them. Do what you have to do, Zelazny. I won't get in your way. I appreciate that, Jensen. I didn't want you to die for a cause that isn't yours. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill. They have names, families, they're people. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me, taunt me, until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. Well, said Dr. Wing will not prove what I've done. Jensen. Zelazny here. Zelazny? How'd you get this frequency? You're no stranger to top secret augmentations, Jensen. You figure it out. In the meantime, just want to let you know I've contacted some of my old pals at Bell Tower. Got them to reassign a couple of local patrols. You should have a few less problems to deal with for a while. Thanks. Don't mention it. 
Right. Find this doctor. Hello, Doctor. So? You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Will he turn himself in? Not exactly. They were already gone when I got there. I looked around a bit, but I couldn't find them. This is most unfortunate, Mr. Jensen. I'm afraid they will cause further chaos and dissension. I hope they are stopped before this happens. Here is a Praxis Kit. It's all I have. Thank you. Plenty of Praxis now. Four now, haven't I? Yeah. Can't solve the problem, I'm just keep saving them up. It's possible to to every old in this game. Right, so we're going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I um, hope to see you on the next part. So I've been Seth Graham. See you later. Thank you.